And now to summarize and go a little bit more positive, is that when we can understand truly what's going on in this world is that, you know, we're basically being harvested from our true identity. Our true identity is infinite imagination. We are infinite imagination manifesting within this spectrum of reality. And if we're not manifesting love, we're manifesting evil and hate and greed and money and wealth and power and and all these all these forces of perception that are manifesting within our point of attention. Which means if we're not fighting for love and fighting for happiness and fighting for generosity and 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 empowerment and love and truth, then generally speaking, we are fighting for the perception of a illusion because we are often quite ahead in the future thinking, no, we need to do this because this is what's going to make us happy. But this is the ultimate illusion. True happiness only exists within this present moment. The idea of happiness in the future is the complete illusion that you're being baited towards. You know, the train at the very front of the carriage that's powering this whole illusion knows that if it can keep and tell everyone that we're going to somewhere super nice, super nice, super nice, then all the people from the first carriage will just tell the people behind, no, 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 we're going somewhere really nice. We're going, don't, don't question anything. We're going super nice. 50 years go down the line, people wake up and realize that, like, I'm without my love in my life. I've got all this money. I worked my whole life, but now I can't spend it because I'm not, I don't know what I, what makes me happy. And I don't, what, even worse, I don't want to be spending money knowing that my true happiness came from the choices that I was convinced to make back in the day. You know, <laughs> my true happiness comes from the choices that I could have made back in the day. Now, this is the past, and there's no such thing as the past, but there's a lot of truth to it. You know, a lot of people are stuck in states of mind of regret within the past, saying like, I feel that I could have made that choice back in the day that would have brought me new happiness. And then what they have to do is they can't just come to the point in time where they can say, you know what, nah, that's, that's the past, this is the moment. It's easier said than done. A lot easier said than done. You know, what they what we have to do is actually start to unravel all of the track that we once went down and find our way back and then make the choice of like, no, now this is what I have the choice to do in this present moment. And it's a lot easier said than done because the people that do follow their whole path chasing something that's not true to their own self-identity or not true to their own self-love, you know, they have to make their way back before they get to connect with their self-love. And, you know, time is an illusion, by the way. So when I talk about make their way back, people can make their way back in this present moment. It's not like, oh, yeah, it's going to take you now. You spent 20 years of your life chasing greed, power, and destruction. Now you're going to have another 20 years to show yourself to love, positivity, and, and happiness to then have the choice of, it doesn't work like this way. It works in the mind and the mental state. If we're in a mental perception of taking, 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 well, it's up to you to be able to bring enough force within the heart to then take control of your mental, um, your mental mind that's always talking shite. So however long it takes people to generate enough force from their heart to then come back to the moment and say, no, I'm over it. I'm over feeding the mind and I'm over feeding the mind's way of always keeping me busy in this world, getting, getting to do with greed and possession and, and wealth and, and perceptions of happier futures. I'm over it. <clears throat> I understand that the only thing that's true to me is happiness in this moment. And whatever is making me happy in this moment is true to me. And I'm just going to focus my attention on this. And any thoughts of my mind that says, no, do this to make a happier future. It's just the devil trying to be in your head, trying to convince you away from your heart. You know, and I, I explained in also in other videos that, you know, when the 